with that, we are going to transition now over to our Outstanding Dairy Award. Um, as you know, this is a long uh, history. Uh, since 2010, FormaFeed sales professionals and dealers have had the honor of nominating a deserving dairy to receive this award. This award does not simply highlight a high-performing herd, but more importantly, it acknowledges the dairy's commitment to giving back to the communities they live in and the dairy industry as a whole. These attributes were part of what made our departed colleague, Wayne Quinn, stand out in his field. As many of you know, the recipient of this award has the honor of selecting an organization or individual to pay it forward to with the Wayne Quinn Financial Award. After evaluating the nominations for this year's award, the committee selected this year's recipient. At this time, I would like to announce that Algren Dairy of Darwin, Minnesota is this year's recipient. Pictured here are owners Rick and Sarah Algren and their children Philip, age 13, Matthew, age 12, Jacob, 9, Olivia, 7, Henry, 6, and Nora, 4. They're joining us live today and we will join them via camera after this short presentation. At this time, I'm going to turn the microphone over to Adam Felbaum, who is their representative, and he is going to tell us a little bit more about Algren Dairy. Thank you, Sarah. Um, it is my honor, my privilege to be with the Algrens today um, to award them with this award. Um, Rick and Sarah Algren are the fourth um, generation of farmers and their family to farm in Ellsworth Township in Darwin, Minnesota. Rick's great grandpa bought land with a farmhouse back in 1910, where Rick's uncle Galen is currently living, which is just down the road from the current dairy site. David, Rick's dad, and his two brothers, Galen and Steve, operated Algren Brothers Incorporated from 1982 to 1918, or 2018, where they milked around 170 cows in a double 12 parlor and farmed around 1,200 acres of land, raising crops for all their livestock and selling corn and soybeans as cash crops as well. Rick and Sarah moved to the farm in 2013 with their children, three children at that time. They wanted to raise their family on the farm and take over the family farm one day. Rick was a general contractor for a little over 10 years prior to moving back to the farm for the dairy farm location. In 2017, David, Rick's father, was killed in a farm accident. On July 1st of 2018, Rick and Sarah purchased the rest of the dairy assets from his uncles or Algren Brothers Incorporated and started Algren Dairy LLC. Investing in the future. In 2019, Rick and Sarah started construction of a brand new freestall barn to house all, all, their, house all of their milking cows as well as the dry cows. Um, the new facility is equipped with three milking robots, three manure collectors, and a complete robotic feeding system. In July of 2020, virtually two years after buying the farm from his uncles, the cows were moved into the new barn. Rick and Sarah run the day-to-day -day operations of the dairy with their six children, four part-time employees. They farm 350 acres of cropland. They are used to grow alfalfa, oats, and corn to feed their cows with help of family and friend. They also raise all their own replacement heifers, as well as doing all the field work required to run the operation with the help of family and friends. Commitment to their community, um, which is a vital role um, that I saw um, that they were very good at. Um, it was a very thing, good thing for this award, hence why I nominated them. The Algrens attended the Highland Community Church, where they volunteer for VBS annually, teach Children's Church, and now are part of a small group. Rick and Sarah are also a lot of volunteers, and their oldest still runs a video camera during the church or during the services. In early December, they also opened up their farm to a live nativity scene. Over the span of two evenings, 500 people came through their, or through their farm to tour their farm, as well as to hear the Christmas story. They were able to give out 400 goodie bags filled with dairy promotional products, hot chocolate, chocolate milk, cheese sticks, and Christmas cookies from the help of volunteers such as Midwest Dairy, First District, and Formafeed. Earlier this year, they were also able to apply on behalf of Algren Dairy to Midwest Dairy and obtain a cooler to be used for dairy products for the Meeker County food shelf at the Dassel location at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Recently, they were able to obtain stocking hats, fleece blankets, and $18, $15 subway gift cards through promotional from Midwest Dairy as well. And they were able to give these gift cards to their local, full, or local school district staff 
The Algrens chose to give these gifts to staff because of their hard work and dedication to educating the children of their community through these tough and uncertain times. Commitment to the industry. In late October of 2020, Rick and Sarah hosted a virtual um, live tour of the robotic dairy barn. There's a tour through Midwest Egg in the classroom in Midwest Dairy. There's a 30 minute live tour on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube where, where they took students at home and in the classroom on a tour in their barn and explained how everything worked. They were able to answer live questions and spread information about where milk comes from and dairy products. Over a thousand students registered and logged in live to watch the video with many views after. Teachers are still using this video today for distance. In mid-November, the Dallas Cocado Robotics League came out and toured their barn. 17 students came and explored the barn with the Auburns and saw all of the technology being used in the day-to-day -day life operation. They have hosted many projects. Uh, um, or stuff like that. In early August of 2020, through Midwest Dairy, they also did a promotional ad called Nourishing What's Next with U.S. gold medal Olympian Moral K. It's a 37 second long video featuring Auburn Dairy. 93 on Facebook loan. It is still viewable on Facebook today. A family commitment. Finally, sharing their story a fam is a family commitment. Rick and Sarah's boys have started a YouTube channel where they share some videos of dairy farming, tasks, and the harvest. Here you can see a couple screenshots here. In the midst of learning some about their robots, the Algrens also work to find time to continue to share their story with the public in a variety of ways. On behalf of myself and everyone else at Former Feed, I would like to congratulate the Algrens on receiving this award. And now back to Sarah for the Wayne Quinn Award. Excellent. Thank you so much. And yes, congratulations, Rick and Sarah and your entire family on receiving the award. Before we cut to Rick and Sarah to say a few words about their selection, I'd like to uh, tell you about who they selected for the Wayne Quinn Award. The Wayne Quinn Award uh, has been ha will be awarded to the Dassel Volunteer Fire and Rescue Department to pay it forward. Um, the money will be used towards the purchase of a grain bin rescue system. And now we will, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and we will have uh, Adam and the Algrens say a few words. And then after they're done, Dan Coles will take it away. And here is Rick and Sarah, as well as their family, to say a few words. Okay. Everybody. All right. Well, we are extremely honored and blessed to receive this award this year. Uh, we were not expecting it. And uh, to be honest, this last uh, few years has been kind of a roller coaster of events and, and uh, things and expansion and changes. And um, yeah, we'd like to thank the, first of all, the Formal Feed team for, uh, I guess, being right by our side uh, through every step pretty much. And, and even, I don't know if Brant uh, Groon is watching right now, but we want to thank him, uh, especially just for all the, uh, the help and consultation and uh, troubleshooting throughout the years. And now, um, Adam and Chuck and, and other members of the Formal Feed team just been a huge help. And, um, kind of helping us through um, the process of uh, bringing our farm. And um, well, I also wanted to touch a little bit about the, the Dassel department and they've uh, uh, I guess been um, helping us through different things throughout the years uh, we had a barn fire um, several years ago that they uh, helped us through 
and um, and then I guess a a, a family uh, another accident in our in our own family. You know, very um, um, and it uh, seemed very fitting that uh, we could help them um, attain that and hopefully help other uh, other people in the future. Um, I think I'm. I know I'm. I, I should thank some other people here. Uh, so, former feed team, and obviously um, uh, my mother, just for uh, helping us, um, you know, through the farm transition process and and all that that entails, and and my uncles, um, just with obviously growing up here on the farm and uh, and then leaving the farm and then returning to the farm and and uh, helping us, I guess, achieve our goal of raising our family on the farm and continuing the, the family farm. So I wanted to thank them and uh, numerous other uh, friends that have helped us through harvest and, and um, you know, just the, the startup of in our, you know, of our cows in our, our barn and just the countless hours and, and um, self selfishness that, um, that we benefited from. So I wanted to, to thank those people. Um, yeah, so we're just uh, we're really thankful and honored and and uh, yeah, very grateful. So thank you once again. Oh, we also we should mention. Sorry, don't mean to be long-winded here, um, but we we did want to I guess encourage other farmers to uh, to reach out to their local communities or um, I know you know you guys mentioned we did some several different social media things and, and virtual things, obviously with COVID this year, a lot of it's been, um, you know, virtual or distance, um, but quite a bit of in-person, um, you know, dairy promotional things as well. Um, it's not really something that we were, I guess, uh, striving for in the past, but um, it just kind of seemed um, important to us in the last couple of years that um, just to spread some real information on how farms work and and what a family farm looks like and um, just to get people in our local communities and and other people just kind of involved more um, with agriculture so that they can be informed on where their food comes from. So just wanted to encourage others that um, it doesn't take a lot and you don't have to be perfect, um, but it, it really pays off in the end. So I just wanted to uh, mention that as well. Congratulations, Rick, Sarah, and family. Uh, this is a well-deserved honor and uh, thanks for all that you do for your community and the dairy industry.